And we're back. What'd you do? Oh, nothing. It took you like three hours. I just... No, I, no it didn't. It don't was gone for three hours. Don't deceive my viewers, you asshole. It, it's been so long, I started to worry if you were ever coming back. Charlie. I have to remember the baby's asleep so I can't get too loud. Charlie, stop suckling upon my nutsack and being, it, being an idiot. Wait, you still have a nutsack? I thought we took that away years ago. Charlie, you never took that away. As a matter of fact, you never had any control over what I had. Now get your bitch ass out of here. You get your bitch ass out of here. Charlie, do I have to come over there? I said physically just take off the headset right now, drive over to your house, and implant my foot up your ass. Yes, please. I'll be waiting. You seriously want me to come over there? Because I will do it. I'd really rather you not come and wake up my baby at this time. Oh, I'll wake up the baby, I'll get you in trouble, and there'll be a foot up your ass. It'll be a trifecta. It wouldn't just be me in trouble. We would all be yelled at. Be yelled at. Well, Me, you, the think... viewers. Well, here's the thing, though. I wouldn't really care if Cassie was yelling at me. She'd probably because go and yell I don't at Matthew. Li because I don't actually live there. So her yelling at me really doesn't matter. How did I manage to do this? What the fuck? You were born. No, I, I got my word all In between a rock and a building. I finally got it out. You mean a rock and a hard place? No, it's a building. It's a hard plus. No, it's harder than hard. It's a forerunner building. That's still a hard plus. Admit it, Charlie. You got your hog caught between a rock and a hard place. Ooh! That's interesting. I just found a time capsule. Let's see what they have buried in it. Oh, interesting. What did they give me? Oh, they gave me blood oil, and deep shrooms, and a gel sack. Those are all things that I'll be needing later on. So I always knew you like sacks. <sighs> I swear to God, Charlie, you will be stabbed in the balls seconds. the next time I see you. Good. What are you doing again? I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, I was opening a little time capsule and you just decided... No, no, I got that part. I heard that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was looking at these resources that this person gave me. You see, randomly, in every subnautica world... <gasps> oh my god, the oxygen! No, I'm not gonna make it, not gonna make it, not gonna make it! Oh my god! Blackout, 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 no? okay, blackout. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, just barely. Um... Basically, here's what the time capsule things are. Whenever another player um, completes the game of Subnautica, they can select a, some resources from their inventory and insert them into a time capsule. This time capsule is launched out of the time capsule tube and out into the world when the rocket ship launches. And once the rocket ship is uh, gone and their game is over, um, that time capsule randomly appears in the world. For in someone else. else's world. Oh, that's a pretty neat mechanic. Yeah. So you can send, like, literally anything to anyone else at random. You can, like, say, here, this is my favorite survival knife. Use it well. Or, here, this is my favorite piece of titanium. It was the first thing I mined on the planet. Continued degradation of the Drive I could see, I could see someone do, just playing the game over and over and just putting valuable resources in it. Like, heavily valuable resources. Well, the problem is there's no reason to do that because there's absolutely no way to tell who will find your time capsule. I'm aware of that. It but, I randomly mean, uploads it to the Steam server, and then Steam just randomly distributes it, uh, distributes it with the map file. Yeah, and I, I, I'm aware of that. It's it's like um, it's like I was playing for the first time, and someone gave me a um, a battery cell for the site 
for the uh, Cyclops. You've played this game before? No, no, no. That was an example. Oh. I was saying, like, say it's my first time playing, I get a battery cell for the Cyclops. Like well, a, or one of the that's most called expensive a power upgrade. cell. Yeah. Or, or one of the most, um... I think there might be a limit to what you can put in. And, and that one makes sense, but like, um... Like, you, you know how, like, there's upgrades for all that, too? Which I know could be held in your inventory, so, I mean, someone could just throw one of them in there. Yeah, that, that could be the case, yeah. And that would be extremely overpowered. Just throw one of the most expensive upgrades in there. Yeah, but I think they may purposefully filter those out simply for game balancing purposes. Not 100% sure. But I'm getting chased by a large toothy predator. A sand shark. Hey, I was like a sand shark once. Unable to catch you because I couldn't go up. Thirty seconds. Wait, you couldn't go where? Couldn't get up. Couldn't get up where? Oh, don't worry about it. What? No, we're going to worry about it. We're going to have <laughs> a very I... thorough discussion about this. And you are going to explain yourself, you sick, twisted little bow wow. Sick and twisted is... Definitely the uh, words to use to describe what I was saying. You are sick and twisted. Now explain yourself, loser. I, I, I said I, I was like a sand shark. I couldn't catch you because I couldn't get up. You're still not explaining yourself. What, what the hell are you talking about? Do I have to get Joey to come in and explain it for you? Why the hell do you need Joey for this? Because he would definitely be able to explain it in one go. Please, please, go ahead. Explain it in one go. No, I, I can't. Here we go. No, I, you're going to, or there will be problems for you. There's already problems. I'm having to try and to, try to explain this to you. There will be more problems. Aliens! Make sure I hit them on the good side. Don't change oh. the subject, bitch pudding. I'm just saying, I've got problems already. Yeah, but don't the change the, the subject. Come on, explain. No, I, I think I'm just going to let you worry about that. There will be a knife slowly inserted into your dick hole. I hope so. God damn. Can you make it a thousand degree knife? Can we do one of those on thousand degree knife cutting you know, in half? That challenges? reminds me of a YouTube channel I used to watch very often called Official Duck Studios. Official Duck Studios. I love that name. Yeah, it it wasn't a very friendly uh, YouTube channel. And that don't matter to me. You at see, all. they mostly got CS:GO skin sponsors. So, one day, one of their, you know, cast members said, we need to try and get some other sponsors. And he's like, I totally agree. And then the next day, there's a bunch of dildos all over their house. <laughs> oh, that sounds he like said, the kind of shit I would do, too. Yeah. yeah on that said, stupid desk. Yeah, we want... I thought you said you wanted more non-CSGO related sponsors. Not dildos! <laughs> and I in mean, a later episode, they literally take a thousand degree knife and just slice the dildos into a hundred little pieces. Oh, no. I mean, sex sells. We all know that. Yeah, but does masturbation sell? Yes! You know why? You know why I know masturbation doesn't sell? Because you weren't a very good porn star. No. Because no one's willing to take it. <laughs> that's why you're masturbating. I mean, that's what they make porn for. It doesn't sell, though. It doesn't sell, Charlie. That shit don't sell. What the hell? Why is this thing facing into the rock face? Can't scan the contents of it. Freaking stupid box. 
only I had one of those um, blasters. Or gravity guns. You don't need any of that. No, actually I do. They literally have something known as a propulsion cannon. I know. It's quite fun to use, and it's basically just mm -hmm. a gravity gun with everything but the name. I wouldn't be surprised if the name gravity gun was copyrighted, or trademarked. It is trademarked, by Valve. Yeah. But, you know, right. it's just such an obvious rip-off of the design that, well, let's face it, extremely obvious when you're looking at it. Mm-hmm. And mobile vehicle bay fragment scanned. I need a beacon. Where's a beacon I can scan? Um, they're actually the one of the most uh, they're one of the most important items in Subnautica, despite the fact they're also one of the smallest and least expensive. Mm-hmm. So apparently I have to play all of Halo Combat Evolved with no skulls on to get to get my achievements for completing the game. Wow. Yeah. However, I am playing on easy, so I'm hoping it unlocks all difficulties when I'm done. Since I've already done it on Legendary and the game knows I have. If I have to do it on, if I have to do it on Legendary to get that achievement, fuck that. Yeah, no skulls on legendary. That uh, that seems kind of hard. Well, I mean, all I pretty much had was bandana on for that. Hmm. I came out here to find something and grab it. Resource that I was limited on. Yeah, beacons are very important. They're little floating items. Once you put no, no. them down, they hold their location in um, the water table. Yep. And the only way that they move is if, I don't know, a stalker comes along and picks them up. Yeah, I know. I know how the beacons work. Yeah, you can also name them. Yep. Can't you also, can't you also change their color? Yeah, you can also change the beacon color on your um, mini map. So yeah. Mm. Or HUD, rather. I actually have a couple mods installed on this game. Really? What mods? Well, I have one that actually shows me a real-world clock and an in-game clock, both digital and analog. I have. You one need a real-world clock. Sometimes I like to play and I lose track of time, so it's... You don't, you don't just got a clock on the wall? No, I don't just got a clock on the wall right in front of me. My annoying damn I mean, alarm clock has an extremely sensitive power cord, apparently, and frequently loses. Get an analog clock, damn it. Well, no. Uh, that, because I've never had a digital clock in my life that I could think of other than like, on a computer and a phone. I literally have always had. I've, I can't say always. I've only ever you know, had I one did once have clock, an and it was a clock. Mm -hmm. Woke me up one morning. I reached over, grabbed it, and threw it across the damn room. Oh, you had, you had the ones with like the actual bells and shit, didn't you? Uh, yeah. I'm talking about one that like just hangs up on your wall and just tells time, and that's it. That's all it does. Tell time. That's all you need. Yeah, I'm going to end the recording here for a minute, and I'll be okay. back.